You want to destroy us for words, but what about your deeds? You want to stop us for words, but what about deeds? You want to shut us down for speaking our mind when you invested, profited, benefited from the enslavement of our people and you got the audacity. The audacity to make the world, the whole world, look at you like the eternal victims of the planet. When your history is just as rotten, as decadent, as inhumane, as ungodly as any other branch of the European family. But hold on. Let, let, oh, let, let, let me get this right. See, here's what I think we should do. And I want y'all to let me know what y'all think. I want y'all to let me know what you think. I think we need to have a sit down with the leadership of the untouchable community. Black America and untouchable America need to have a sit down face to face conversation. Who, who, who with me on this? And we're going to lay out all charges against them as it relates to their exploitation and elimination. Exploitation of black America and elimination of certain leaders in black America. Y'all feeling me, brothers and sisters? We need to have a sit down with them because I'm trying to understand something. Three questions, and I got a million questions for the untouchable leadership. I got a million questions for the untouchables, but let me just hit you with a few questions I have for the untouchables. This is just a few questions that I have for the untouchables. Question number one. Abraham was an African. Abraham was an African. I believe he was born in Ur of Chaldea. He was an African. Moses, an African, educated in Kemet. They looked like me. Moses looked like me. Abraham looked like me. The 12 tribes, they looked like me. When did the seed of Abraham, when did the seed of Abraham, brothers and sisters, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm being honest. One of the questions I must ask the untouchable, if the seed of Abraham look like me. When did the seed of Abraham cease to be African and start being Neanderthal? I need an answer to this, brothers and sisters. I need an answer to this, brothers and sisters. When did the seed of Abraham cease being Africoid and became Caucasoid? When did the seed of Abraham cease being Africoid and became Caucasoid? When did the seed of Abraham cease being Africoid and became Caucasoid, I need an answer. I'm not being disrespectful. I respect all groups, all peoples, but you got to tell me how this became that. Help me understand. Help me understand. And then I also got to ask you, them slave ships that brought my ancestors over here, them slave ships that brought my ancestors over here, them slave ships that brought my ancestors over here, who financed which banks, which banks, which banks financed the building of the slave ships, which banks provided the insurance for my ancestors' human cargo. I got to ask the untouchables because y'all want the whole world to remember what happened to you. And I don't have a problem with that. What happened over there was wrong. It was wrong. I don't care the color. I don't care the culture. It was wrong. Death to innocent people is always wrong. Black, blue, purple, green, brown, orange. Death to innocent people is wrong. 
But my question to the untouchables, did you or did you not invest in the slavery of my ancestors? Did you or did you not finance the slave ships? Did you or did you not provide the insurance for the lives of my ancestors? Is it not true that almost every bank you own in this country that was around back then participated in Mama Afa? Is it not true that the Secretary of War for the Confederacy? Is it not true that the Secretary of War for the Confederacy? Is it not true that the Secretary of War for the Confederacy was an untouchable? And was he not a slave owner? And did he not promote? Wasn't there hundreds of slave owning untouchables? Are you trying to tell me y'all didn't own our ancestors? Because we got the proof, brothers and sisters. Y'all didn't own us? Oh, y'all had no part in owning us? Y'all didn't finance them slave ships? Y'all didn't insure the cargo? Oh, I thought not. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want to have that conversation. So not only do you own us now through athletics and entertainment, you owned us then. Not only are you exploiting us now through athletics and entertainment, you exploited us then. Not only do you control us now through athletics and entertainment, you controlled us then. How dare you? You want to destroy us for words, but what about your deeds? You want to stop us for words, but what about deeds? You want to shut us down for speaking our mind when you invested, profited, benefited from the enslavement of our people and you got the audacity. The audacity to make the world, the whole world, look at you like the eternal victims of the planet. When your history is just as rotten, as decadent, as inhumane, as ungodly as any other branch of the European family. Why would God put you back on the throne and you don't have your divine mind? Before God puts us back on the throne, we gotta get our African consciousness back. He's not going to switch out an evil white man for an evil black man. No. God says fix yourself first. And once you fix yourself, I'll put you where you belong.